to be a craft with me live session. Let's get my mind up so I can see. Um, how do I do this? My channel. Oh, let me mute it. All right, so I wish this thing would tell me who's watching. Okay, so who do we got here? It doesn't tell me who's watching. So if you can like make a comment outside on things so I know who's here, we are going to be making a stand up loaded envelope with all the embellishments. Um, I've made quite a few. Well, let me see if I can show you what I've made. Let's see, how do I turn this around this way? I don't know if you can see those, I've made those already. Um, this one is like a love theme. It's still not done. I gotta do like a wand or two for it. I have a llama unicorn one that's totally filled to the gills. Um, I started working on this one the other night, like a shabby chic. Still working on that one. I also did this one, which is like hearts and stuff with all the bag toppers. This one I did like a little shaker. I may do another one today. And it's got like all the embellishments all packaged up. Also did a Maggie Holmes inspired one with the Maggie Holmes collections that I had. There's all the goodies. I packaged some up in little bags. Um, some of these, these are like stickers and stuff. I also started like a fun camping one. I'm going to go and get some hot chocolate and like a pot and like that and um in there and i gotta do some ones for this one and this one is ladybug everything ladybug oh hey mn treasure hunter i'm not sure if this is gonna be your kind of video it's me crafting <laughs> um all right so i definitely need some help picking out the theme that I'm going to do in the papers. Hi, NC Gambler. It's not a scratching video. This is a crafting video. So I'm not sure um, how interesting it's going to be for you. I am trying to figure out what papers I'm going to use to make this. Um, one of my old girlfriends, I guess you can call her, I'm waiting to see her pop in. Um, she wanted me to do this video so she could see my process, it's kind of a long process, but for me it's fun, it's relaxing, it kind of calms me, keeps me busy, and keeps me out of trouble. Oh, thank you, MN. That definitely means a lot. Um, definitely a new YouTuber. My daughter laughs at me. She's like, I can't believe you're a YouTuber, Mom. But you know, it's fun, and I like to share my crafting. I kind of have a different style. Most of the ones that I see on YouTube they generally work on like one theme and always the same colors and I like to switch it up. So where is my friend looking for Elena? Elena? I might be saying her name wrong. But I'm trying to figure out what papers I'm gonna use because I buy a lot of my papers online and print them. Love my printer. I have birthday papers. Um, in this color, I have birthday papers. In this color. And I have some of, like, retro, I guess you could say. But there's not many retro. This is more, I would think, like, music records and stuff. And I have... more of a man paper pad <laughs> that's like wood stuff i love this paper well, this one's more like woodsy so 
This is more like a manly theme. I might do this one. I'm not sure. The lace is on what license plates I always look for Rhode Island. Very rare to see Rhode Island. We got, I think this is all Colorado. Colorado, Colorado, it's Texas, North Carolina. Been to North Carolina, lived in South Carolina. Beautiful down south. Much better than it is up here up north. I think people up north are ignorant fuckers. Um, down south, more humble, more down to earth, and much more respectful. Yeah, this was manly, I guess you could say. I don't know. I'm waiting for my friend to come join me. Who else is here? I see MN Treasure Hunter and NC Gambler. But it says that there's four people watching. <laughs> Who else is here? Speak so I know you're here. I'm going to have this collection too. Maybe I'll do this one. This one's very girly. And I have all the stickers and stuff though with it. These are all like cutouts. It's very florally. I really don't work. I'm not really a floral kind of gal. What is this one? So yeah, this is my thought process. I kind of go through my papers and figure out what theme I want to do. And then I just I think it might be this one. This one has cute stars. I am obsessed with space and stars and astrology. This is my favorite paper of all. Maybe I should fix my shirt so my girlies don't hang out. Guys might like that, but I know the girls won't. Um, yeah, it might be this one. This one has some solid colors. Sometimes I mix them up too. Yeah, it's going to be a long, boring video. Um, but I hope to have a couple of people stay. My crafty friends can stay and watch. This one might go with that. I got some with bugs. Video looks very blotchy. Do you see me, whoever is watching, clearly, or is it very blotchy? I don't know. I'm new to going live. I normally just record and then upload. It's just easier. I think my pro my thought process is a bit different than most. It might be confusing because I'm all over the place. Um, which one's it? This one might be cute. I'm just trying to figure out what papers to use. Okay, maybe I just need to slow down. Elena, are you here yet? I'm waiting for her. This video is for her. Um, I don't know that might work. So this is what I do. It's usually me and Mary Jane. If you know who Mary Jane is, she's my best friend. Cool one in there. Yeah, now I'm just looking, trying to pick colors, figure out what the hell I'm going to do. Um, I wish I had more like spacey papers. But you know, the way the bank account's set up, kind of can't go off and spend things. The $9 I spent on my tickets was my fun money for the week. Um, but best believe once I start working, whew, they are gonna be tickets everywhere. These are just stickers. I'm not too keen on all the flower crap. I'm a girl, but I'm not necessarily girly girly. I like my nails. I like my nails. I have no nails, but I need to get them done for the sake of crafting. Yeah, we're not going to do one of these. Let me see what my girly girl is and see if she's going to tune in. Oh, where are you?
So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Mix it up. You really only need like four, two, three, four sheets to make the actual envelope. As you may hear every now and then, I have people out here love to rev their engines. I'm just looking on the other side of the room because I know I have a star paper pad somewhere. Here it is. Let's see what I got left in it. <coughs> Might do this. Uh, Hi, Scratch and Sniff. Um, this is not a scratching video. This is a crafting video. I'm waiting for one of my girlfriends to join in. She wants to see the process of something that I make. So, totally understand if you leave, it's cool with me. Um, I'm just trying to get my selection of papers together so I know what I'm going to be using. It's not so spacey though. It seems to be like more... I don't know. Might throw in some of those because there's stars on them. Maybe that one. Or that one. It's not really spacey. So yeah, guys, this is what I do when I am not watching your live videos. I keep myself busy, busy making things. Keeps me happy. Keeps me in the house. Keeps me out of trouble. All right, so I'm gonna do space. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just waiting for my girly girl, Elena of Valenzuela, to um, join in. So she can help pick my papers and Maybe she'll do it with me. She wants to see how I do it. For anybody who's watching this after this is already done, be easy on me with your comments. Um, new to this, new to doing all of this, and this YouTube video, so just trying to figure things out. What am I making with paper? I am making what is called a loaded envelope that stands up, basically, <laughs> something like this and it stands up you can see that stands up so when everything and I make everything that goes in it minus the notebook this way when you take everything out of it you can just keep it on your desk and you can put pens paper your scratching coins your scratch tickets will all fit in here and just keep it up on your desk, on the counter, wherever you want, and it just stands up. But for the crafting world, we love our little embellishments and stuff, so these are like little file folders. These are little clear tags that you can use. Come in. Hi. Hi. I see boobies. I'm live. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, live people. Um, Guess what? It's like a shaker. What? Oh my god, fantasy football guys, yes. who plays fantasy football here? He went down the hole, I think I lost him the football. The Patriots play tomorrow. We're from New England, I'm sorry everybody. <laughs> but yeah. Blitz for six. <laughs> Blitz for six. <laughs> so yeah, I think I definitely lost my boyfriend to fantasy football, but I've been telling him to do it. It's something he enjoys. But yeah, little embellishments that they put on projects that they send out to people. This is like little envelopes. Just DraftKings every so often, not on a regular league. I don't know how to do that. Fantasy football and the basketball. I don't watch baseball. I want to bang my head up against the wall because it's so boring. Um, I'm more of, I watch football for the butts. Love a man's ass. Um, watch basketball, and I absolutely love hockey. 
grew up watching hockey. You know, like embroidery floss that the girls love to use. Um, these are like pinwheels. I can make them on sticks so they actually spin. These don't spin. These are what we call little like rosettes and they have like sequins and stuff on them. You can see the sequins moving around. These are just like all kinds of stuff. Um, die cuts and stuff that they can use in their projects with tags. These are rosettes uh, made out of like the, the streamers. I just make them in circles and staple them and then they can decorate them the way they want. These are just bling stickers. Um, this is another big rosette. Did you say when your kids were little, they hated you on craft day? Why do they hate you on craft day? I come in my craft room and it's my haven. I have my own room. Nobody really ever bothers me in here. He comes in every now and then. Um, we'll scream I love you to each other because he likes to play his video games on the weekends. He works hard. He supports his household. We'll give him no kind of shit. You want to play video games? I'll hang to your hot drops. I don't ever complain. I'm just forever thankful for having somebody who's stuck by me through a lot of stuff. Yeah, and this is like a little notebook. It's so fuzzy. I love a fuzzy things. All the glitter. Yeah, I don't. I use which is probably just as bad. Like this right here. I can't even open it. Crap, I closed it the wrong way. It's like a little book that I made. I sewed it on the side. I don't know if you can see that. It's like sewn in. And you open it up that you can write stuff on. So, comedy. And as my boyfriend says, something to spend money on. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be making. But from very beginning to very end, it's kind of a lengthy process because I don't pull everything out at the same time. I'm kind of a girl in everything that I do in life. So, first thing I do is I pick whatever back paper like the shell of I'm not sure which one um waiting for my friend um to help me choose i'm going to be doing like space starry themes i love stars something i don't know i love this one there's this one and then a little crafting store right here, and they're like five bucks. You get, what is it, 48 sheets. You know, depending on what you're doing, what project, they have them for everything. And this one's like spacey, so I think this is the one I'm gonna use. So, I'm thinking for the back, I might use black because I think black would go better. No, I haven't gone to any estate sales. Um, I currently don't drive and we do not have a vehicle. My boyfriend drives for a living, but he has a company car. So it's very hard to go anywhere with that company car because we don't want to take the chance of him getting into any kind of trouble or an accident and, you know, then losing his job. But yeah, I really wish I could go to an estate sale. I want some vintage stuff, vintage papers, like, you know, old papers that normally you'd want to throw in they're so old. I love that stuff. I literally take coffee, put it in a pan, and dip my papers in it to make it that old look. And ribbons, and buttons, and lace, old clothes that have lace and beads on it. Oh my God, I could go broke in an estate sale. I really, really, really wish that I could go to one. And I even had money for one. But best believe if I get this job, I will be finding estate sales and I will take an Uber. I see them listed every now and then, but out here in Rhode Island, they tend to overprice things. It is what it is. It is what it is. I don't know what color I'm going to make this thing. I have tons of paper. But yeah, I've thought of the state sales. I have, um, just wish I could get to one. I think I'm going to do black just to be on the safe side. Uh, I'm just waiting for my friend Elena to get here. Because um, this video is for her. Oh, I might do black.
I am just behind me. I have a rack that's literally filled with most of my crafting stuff. I'm just trying to pull some black paper. Everybody laugh. Nobody loves me. So crafting is kind of boring. I mean, if you're not a crafter, it sucks. It's boring, but still gonna do it. So I think I'm gonna go. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If, when you're here, I definitely appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you could. Would be appreciated. All right, Elena, I don't know where you are. I don't want to start cutting my papers until you're here. Uh -huh. Let me see. Just get me away. All right, maybe I will. Hopefully it doesn't... Crafting is an OCD's person dream hobby. <laughs> Not really for an OCD because I make a disastrous mess. You don't even understand. I don't understand. If you can see like my floor, everything is on the floor. I literally stretch everything out on the floor. Buckets behind me. Like an OCD person, I think would honestly probably have an anxiety attack. But I do clean my room. I clean it. And I have the room that I need, and then I craft it in Vegas. God, I have a cat, and she's in heat, and she likes to climb up on me and need. Oh, she scratched the hell out of me. But yeah, an OCD be cleaned. But, you know, I'll clean it tonight or tomorrow. We shall see. So, what do you do when MN Treasure Hunter? You doing nothing, that's why you're watching me, <laughs> which I appreciate. I am going to light a smoke. And maybe I'll make myself a drink. I just don't like to smoke on camera because it definitely offends some people. I'm not trying to offend anybody. It's my vice. I got a couple of vices. Crafting, scratch tickets, Mary Jane, and my smokes. Thankfully, my crafting, I pretty much have everything I need. I don't like to hoard shit. I like to use it. Let's see if this is her responding. Probably should have waited for her. Working in your home office and you stream running on my phone. <laughs> what do you do for work? I've been looking for work from home positions but to find an actual legit one is hard my last job i was working from home doing amazon marketing and their campaigns and their amazon store i get everything set up i got their customer flow going and they let me go basically they used me to set everything up totally sucks um elena where are you I'm just waiting for her. I don't want to start until she gets here. And I told her that I would do it step by step. Oh, the handy dandy tool. This cutting board. And you're the only one watching me because you love me. I appreciate you. I have my easy directions written down. I've been thinking about the e-cigarette, but I've heard a lot of bad things about it, so I'm not 100% sure on it. And I've also heard about vaping was pretty good. Also not sure about that. Um, and I have the patch. So I'm thinking it's about that time to get healthy and lose weight. I had hernia repair surgery, like I said, back in May, and I've gained so much weight because I'm unable to do a lot of things that I used to do. And because of that surgery, the mesh that they use got entrapped in some of my nerves. So I got nerve damage too. Totally sucks. Too young for this crap. I'm 36 years old. I should be out skipping, hopping, jumping, clubbing, dancing, ball hopping. And yeah, I don't do any of that. I just stay home. All right. 
people are going to be annoyed when they click on this video because it's going to be long and it's just me babbling. <laughs> um, I'm also a big wrestling fan, thanks to my boyfriend. I love wrestling. WWE, like the Raw and the SmackDown is getting kind of old. I like more of the indies, strong style. Love the death matches. I love to see the blood, guts, and gore. I don't know. Consider me a sick person, but I love seeing that stuff. I'm not sure if anybody else is a wrestling fan. But yeah, the e-cigarette. Hmm. How is it working for you? You said two years ago, and you're still using it? Do you still have the urge for, like, the actual cigarette? I don't know if it's the nicotine or if it's the hand-to-mouth or if it's the smoke that comes out of your mouth. I don't know what it is that's the vice that keeps me hooked. I don't know. I'm so ready to get started. I hope she joins soon so I can get to the one before I lose my craft mojo. And yeah, I live on a main road, and every now and then you will see, oh, you know, you'll hear. These people just rev their engines for no reason. It's definitely the nicotine. Yeah, no urge for regular smokes. Huh. I might have to give that a try. Have you tried different ones? And one worked better than the other? Recommendations? I may have to look into that. So you need to quit. You got to think. Out here in Rhode Island, we're paying nine ninety one. For a pack of smokes, it's a lot of money if you think about it. Two people in the house, it's like twenty dollars a day. Yay! Hi, Lena, you made it. I've just been gabbing away for almost a half hour. Um, and then Treasure Hunter, and I'm not sure who else is on right now, but I'm ready. I picked my papers. I think what I'm going to do is let me put it down so you can see is like the stars. I have this one sheet here. I love these colors. And I have this paper pad. I don't have many papers left in it. Jewel. I'll have to look and see if they sell those out here, man. Because I definitely need to give it a try. Elena, this is the paper pad that I have. Uh, Aurora. I bought this last year, I think, in South Carolina. And I'm going to use uh, black as the shell. So I got my black 110 pound cardstock from our collections. Just heavier because it's sturdier. I've also used 65 pound. Most of the ones that I made, I've used 65 pound, which works. And then I have some of these. I can use for like the embellishments. And there's this green one. And there's this one and this one. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. Ah! So you need about four or five pieces of cardstock for whatever color you want to do. I've used black, I've used white, I've used pink, purple, a rose color. I've used quite a few. And these are the minutes. I can put them in the description. Um, all right, so are you doing this with me or are you just watching? Let me know if you're going to do it with me, and I can definitely make sure I take my time and I go slow with it. Oh, you're doing. Okay. So let me know when you have your paper cutter and your papers. You, you Let me see. One, two, three, four, about four or five pieces of cardstock. Plain colored if you have it, or whatever color. I'm not sure what kind of theme that you're doing. So, you're going to cut your first piece. 
at eight and a half. Oh, okay. Let me know when you get your cutter. <laughs> I'm using eight and a half by 11 paper just because it's easier because most of the measurements are eight and a half by something else. It's just easier that way. I don't have many 12 by 12 plain colored cardstock papers. Just never buy them. So this is fun. I got this from a Faithful Designs by Christy, I think her name is. Um, I saw her tutorial on how to do this and I have been obsessed. I've sold four of them that I've made already and I have a lady who um, has bought three of them and she's going to be buying another one. She wants me to do a West Virginia mountain theme. So that's next. I got to find some mountain paper and try to print some papers. Just let me know when you have your cutter. This is going to be fun. This is only my second live video. Uh, craft with me. I've seen a lot of craft with me's and they have their desk all pretty, pretty things and pretty shabby colors. And you know what? I'm a real person. I'm on a budget. I'm not working. I use what I have. This is a kitchen table. I actually got it. Salvation Army for I think $4.99. And it's huge. It's a kitchen table. You can even where this crack is, it won't close anymore. You can open it up and make it bigger. But I decided not to. And I just have my stuff in um, two racks that I bought on Amazon. And I just use that. All right. All right. You're ready. No problem. All right. So I'm using, like I said, eight and a half by 11 size paper. You're going to cut your first one at eight and a half, which you don't have to cut, by four and a half. So by four and a half. I should do this one over here. And we're going to do the cutting first, and then we're going to score. So again, this first one is eight and a half by four and a half. And then just put that four and a half piece to the side. The piece that's left, see, I even, I reuse it. This has like stamps on it and stuff. You're not, I'm not going to see that. That's going to be on the inside. I might even leave it on the outside to mat it. That piece that was left over, you already have the eight and a half side. Then you're going to cut it by six. So eight and a half by six. By six. And then all you have of waste of that one piece of paper is a string. That's it. I try not to waste. Waste not, want not. That's what I was always taught as a child. So for your next piece, which is the second piece of cardstock, you're going to stick your stuff on it. You're going to want to do the eight and a half by seven and a half. Take that seven and a half piece, put it aside, and just put this piece that was left over just to the side because we're going to be using that. And then you want to cut eight and a half by nine. Not for these paper cutters because let me tell you, I can't cut a straight line to save my life, not even when I draw it. By nine and put that aside. That is your main, let me turn these around. This is going to be, this is the main shell. If you look at it and you just put them together, you can see one, this will be one pocket, two pocket, three pockets, and then four. So that little spare piece, the smaller one, you can cut that at two inches by five and a half. And Elena, let me know if you need me to repeat anything. If I'm going too fast, just let me know. So this one again is two inches by five and a half. 
and you're going to put this one, I think I need to replace my blade, and you're going to put this one to the side. Then you'll take another piece, and this is what's going to close that back envelope, it is five and a half by eight. So, eight. by five and a half. And put that piece to the side for now. And you're left with a couple little slivers of bigger pieces. I save these bigger pieces and sometimes even these because I may use them in the embellishments. Okay. Once you have everything cut, put your paper cutter to the side, unless your paper cutter is a scoreboard too. I have the we are memory keeper scoreboard and it's dirty. This is all glitter and dust and little bits of glue. And I have no idea how to clean this thing. I will get to it one day though. But all right, you get all your pieces that you cut back to that very first piece, the eight and a half by four and a half. Put it down. on your eight and a half inch, so have your um, scoreboard before you start scoring. Just let me know if you have it. And if you do, I'll get the scoring. The scores are pretty much, the score lines are the same on each of the four pieces. Um, the two that I told you to put to the side, you don't score those. All right, get your scoreboard and let me know when you get that. And if you have a tip on how to clean this thing, I was debating on just pouring, rubbing alcohol on it and taking like a, a sewing needle through each of these lines because there is so much stuff just caught. Oh, but you have a score stick. Okay. So what you're going to do is on the eight and a half inch side. Oh, you're better than me. I could never use a score stick with just the mat. My lines would never, ever be straight. Um, again, eight and a half inch side, you're going to score it half an inch. One inch and one and a half. So again, on your eight and a half inch side, you're gonna score it half, one inch, and one and a half. And then I flip it over, it's just easier. And you do it again, half an inch, one inch, and one and a half. And that again is both sides of the eight and a half inch side. All right. <clears throat> and then you are a super trooper for staying on my live and watching this. Um, yeah, this is what I do. I normally don't go live. I normally don't do videos on the crafting. I normally just craft. But I'm trying to get more videos in. Like I said, I'm not the traditional filmer. I don't have fancy stuff. I don't make my dad fancy. It just, I know once I start working, I won't be able to do this as much. And I'm totally okay with that. I'll just do more shopping because where this. It's a whole shopping plaza of like 50 stores. Just let me know when you have it in your scoreboard. I've tried to use a mat, but it doesn't work. Hmm, maybe I could just go through here with just this. I hate looking at this thing. It's just glitter 
and fabric pieces and glue pieces. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> More listening now. Yeah. At least you're listening. I definitely appreciate it. I actually have to go watch more of your videos. I like to go back and watch all the videos. The scratching is just, I get so excited watching people scratch tickets. Because my luck sucks. I tend to say, what do I say? I have a black cloud over my head. This might be able to do this. My eyes are going to kill me. Got it. Okay. All right, so again, eight and a half inch side on both the right and the left side, you're going to score it half an inch, one inch, and one and a half inch. This one is the four, eight and a half by four and a half. On that four and a half inch side, you're going to score it half inch and one inch. And you're going to do this the very same way for all of them. All right, Emma, and I'm definitely going to look forward to it. I pretty much spend my Sundays watching YouTube, commenting, liking everybody's videos. I love to support. All right, Lena, like I said, on all of them, on your eight and a half inch side, you're going to score it half inch, one inch, and one and a half inch on the right and the left side. Then on the other side, you're going to score it half inch and one inch. This next piece is the eight and a half by six. Again, I'm going to put my eight and a half inch side down. And I'm going to score it half inch, one inch, and one and a half. Then you flip it over. Again, at half inch, one inch, and one and a half inch. And then I'm going to put it to the six inch side. And I'm going to score it at half inch and one inch. Let me tell you, though, Elena, this school board has been a lifesaver. When I started crafting, it's going to be two years that I really got into it. First thing I purchased was a school board because I can't do a straight line for nothing. This next piece is your eight and a half by seven and a half. And on the eight and a half inch side, again, you're going to score it half inch one inch and one and a half. I'm going to flip it. Half inch, one inch, and one and a half. Then on the seven and a half inch side, I'm going to do half inch and a one inch. And I just put it in a pile. And then this is our last piece, which is the eight and a half by nine. And again, on the eight and a half inch side, you can do half inch, one inch, and one and a half inch. And then we'll flip it. Do it half inch, one inch, one and a half. And then on the nine inch side, a half inch and one inch. Put that aside. You can get rid of the scoreboard. Put that over here. And now you have your pieces are should be all scored. What you need to do now. Do you have all your pieces scored? I just don't want to go too fast. I want to make sure that you have everything scored. All right. Hopefully you have everything scored. What you're going to do is you're going to cut out one, two, three, four, five, six. These six boxes. You're just going to cut that piece out on both sides on all four. So I'm just going to, I'm telling you, I can't even cut a straight line when I score it. And then I'm going to cut this piece. Like 
And then you have that little piece that's right there. That's six pieces. Hey, hey, closet scratcher. I'm over here crafting. I am making what is called a loaded stand-up envelope. It looks like this, filled with embellishments. So basically, when you take everything out of it for the crafters, you can basically use this to stand on your table, on your desk, on your counter, and you can put things in it. I'm actually going to be making one for the Georgia Gambler with casino paper. And he can put all his scratch tickets inside while he's scratching. The taller ones can go in each one. I think it's pretty cool, and it's fun. <laughs> I'm in treasure hunter as a closet crafter. <laughs> all right, Elena. Again, just cut out on all of your papers those six squares. Mm. See, I can't even cut a straight line. Can't cut a straight line. Haven't had a drink. Haven't had a smoke. And I still can't cut a straight line. It's all right. How are you doing over there, Elena? Are you cutting your squares out? And I actually saved these little pieces. <laughs> we can all have our little secrets. But yeah, normally when I'm doing this, I'm just in my room with coffee, my smokes, and some music. Normally have my music going or watching my videos or um, YouTube videos, Netflix, Hulu, Slang, whatever it may be. Um, I tend to watch a lot of YouTube videos on serial killers and executions and things like that. I'm a little fucked in the head, I guess you could say, but that's all right. All right, Elena, let me know when you have all of your squares cut out and we can go on to the next step. I actually saved these little itty bitty pieces and I cut off two and then I make little inchies. They call them inchies. I literally take this piece and decorate it. You want a nap, so go take a nap. All right, Elena. So now that you have them all cut, you'll start seeing the actual stand-up envelope form a little more. What you want to do now is you want to fold on your skull lines. A dog is a bad dog. <laughs> and you're going to take these three lines right here and you're going to mountain valley fold them, almost like a fan, fan fold them. Fold down, put it down, and put it down. You said in fast takes a little while. Am I going too fast? If I'm going too fast, just tell me to slow down, and I will definitely slow down. Fold like a fan. So on the side, and you can use your, your bone folder or whatever it may be. Before I had my bone folder, I was using anything I could find to press this down, just so it makes it flatter. And you should have those. You take your bottom two score lines and you fold them in. You do not fold this bottom one like a fan. And fold it down. So you should have that. Yes, this is a bone folder. They call it a bone folder. It's not made out of bones. I have no idea why they call it a bone folder. There's three of them. This is normally the one that people have or one a little bit bigger. Some of them have like a slight edge over here. I'd actually like somebody to make me one out of wood with like veneer on it. But yeah, that's what these are. These basically just help you make the lines. Like you see these lines? I could never do these lines, these straight lines by hand ever. Not possible. And yeah, so these are the three I have. And I just use them to press the lines. It's all right. <laughs> I 
Oh, now I know what you mean as far as bone folder. <laughs> but okay, yes, you fold all your sides in like that. You want to see how like that in the bottom. And just fold, you do that same fold on all your pieces. Fold. This one's dirty, so I gotta fold in, fold out, and fold in. in, fold out, fold in, and then just press them down. Here are all the crazy people outside. This neighborhood is nuts. And then fold down. You're up to $80 so far on a $20 ticket. Oh, I'm so jealous. I don't ever win on scratch tickets. But all right, you fold all your pieces and you'll start seeing the loaded envelope forming. And back and fold in. My son and my boyfriend are playing Fortnite. I think my son is playing with my daughter in Portugal and my boyfriend's just playing with random people. And I keep hearing swearing and banging, so somebody's losing. Man! Yes, baby. And this is my son. Come here. So they can see your face. All right, all right. This is my, my little my little boy. Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Chicken nuggets in the freezer. Make a sandwich. Okay? Spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. Okay. Sorry about that. That's my little cutie patootie. He probably lost in Fortnite because he looks a little pissed off right now. <laughs> Thank you, Lenny. He's cute, but he's a little devil. Don't let them eyes fool you. That kid is bad. I think it's because he has... I gave him too much rain, too much freedom. Um, I was working a lot. I always worked a lot my entire life. So he got to pretty much be on his own. He would get himself off to school by himself because I'd already be at work. He'd have to come home and do lunch by himself, and he'd stay home for about two or three hours before I got home. Um, I tend not to shout to him. I do talk to him about everything, especially about being a young black man living in this world. Um, on things, what to do, what not to do, and how to be safe if police officers approach him. So he kind of knows. He knows what he's doing. He's a good kid. He's bad, but he's good. I don't know how to explain it. Um, all right, so I only folded three because I'm talking too much. I get to fold in the other ones. And I feel like my boobs are going to pop up. This is not a peach show. <laughs> all right, so. And just to fold in, let me know when you have yours all folded up. You'll probably have yours folded up before me because I'm just blabbing. This is the last piece. Oh, it hurts my fingers. I'm double jointed, so my fingers lock up when I'm doing this. I don't know if you can see the way my fingers go. That hurts. That's why I use the bone folder. I can't use my fingers. All right. So I have all four of my pieces scored. You can see it. Obviously, you see that the back is empty. Um, let me know when you are all done folding. Find the stuff that I'm going to need. Sorry, guys, I'm just off over here on the corner grabbing some stuff. That I'm going to use. Other ones are. All right, Elena, do you have yours all folded up? You need a scoreboard like mine. I have a little one, too. I have a little baby scoreboard somewhere. I 
have a little, I don't know where it is. I don't know where I put it. I have a little six by six. <laughs> Thanks, Evan. That's what it is. But yay, Lena, I have a small one, a six by six one. If I can find it, I will find it because it's somewhere in here. And you want it, I can definitely send it to you. It's an EK Tools. And it's the one that goes with this bone folder. So if you want the little six by six one, once I find it, I'll look for it today. I can send it to you with with one of these bone folders. I tend to use this one, um, but I have three of them. If you want the little six by six one, I can totally send it to you. Just let me know. Yes, MN, this would look nice on your work desk. I can make you a manly man one. I can make you one in anything that you want. And you can keep it on your desk and put your little sticky notes, your pens, your scratch tickets, little notes. I can make you one. <laughs> but Elena, yes, um, what you can do is message me your address on Facebook. And once I find it, I can send it out. I can send it out on a manila envelope with a couple of stamps. Don't worry about sending me goodies. I don't use the little one anymore. Make it man treasure. Good idea. A pirate treasure one. <laughs> All right. So, do you have all of yours folded up? If you do, let me know and we'll go on to the next step. Once you do this once, it's so easy. I wrote down everything right here and I always keep this on my desk. Okay, so now you're going to need adhesive. Um, whether it's double-sided tape, tacky glue, um, clear glue. I use um, this mono... Tombow Mono Liquid Glue Aqua. Um, when I buy my printer paper online, you just put this as an add-on. It's like three, $3.16 for three of them um, as an add-on on Amazon. And normally if you go to the store, it's like $4 each one. So this is what I use. Get your adhesive. Let me know when you got it. Like I said, you can use any adhesive you want. All right, MN, anything pirate related, you got it. I am definitely going to work on that one. I got to write your address though. Otherwise, I'm never going to write it down. And I'll make sure it's nice and steady. Um, this way you can actually keep it on your desk. Is there any particular colors, favorite colors? All right, so you got your glue. You know those two pieces I told you to put on the side? You're going to take your one that's a little bit bigger. All right, I'll surprise you. <laughs> that piece that you cut that you put aside, this is the five and a half by eight. This is going to back that very last piece. But your first step before then, I tend to use paper clips or I had, I don't know where they went, a ton of like these little mini binder clips. You're going to want to put a little bit of adhesive right here and right here. So let me do that. Can I zoom in a little bit maybe? All right, so you're going to put a little bit of adhesive here, whether it's tape or glue. Tape just sticks down quicker, but I think this glue makes it last longer. Um, I haven't had one fall apart with the glue. So yeah, as you can see, it's just a little bit of glue on those corners. And then you're going to fold this up. You're going to fold it up like that. And I use the binder clips this way. I don't have to hold it. And when you get that piece to where you want it flushed, just put the binder clip there like that. And it just holds it so you can then work on. This is zoomed in too much. All right. How do I zoom out now? Okay. So you can adhere this side. I mean, you can hold it, and I know this glue tends to dry pretty quick, but you just don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna put a clip here. And you only gotta leave it on for a few seconds. 
this way it adheres. But you want your bottom, this is flat because this is like the part that it stands up on. So glue your sides down. You can do this on all of them at the same time, or you can do them one by one. I'm going to unfortunately have to do them one by one because I literally only have four binder clips. I had a case full. Who the hell knows where they went? I don't. All right. Oh, and I forgot to write down what I was making for you. And then pirate theme. It's totally spelled theme wrong. Really. Okay. So once you have those sides like that, the bottom of it is flat like that. Um, this piece, the five and a half by eight, is what's going to back this. So what you want to do, all right, I think that's glued good enough for now. It tends to dry pretty quick. Okay. Where'd my glue go? You're going to put your adhesive now on all three sides. This is still two. Your adhesive goes on one, two, three sides. So that's just what I'm doing. And then once you have your adhesive on all three sides, you're going to take that five and a half by eight piece. And that's what goes on the back. And this is why I use my binder clips, because sometimes I have a hard time getting it to stick correctly. So you just want to get it the back piece flush. Flush to the bottom, flush to the sides, and then I use just to hold it in place a bit easier. So I just have it flush, and then against the middle, I just kind of squeeze it, and then you do the same. I think I might have cut this dang piece too small. Probably did. Is this not aligned right? I might need to push this over a little bit. There we go. Put this piece back here, and then you align the other side. Use the clips, like I said, it just hold, it actually adheres. Otherwise, it doesn't. So you have your sides. Oh, thank you so much. I know, like, the first half hour of the video, I was just yapping away. So some people may get annoyed with it. So I think I'm going to put in the description that the video doesn't start till about 29 minutes. This way people can just skip to it because I literally just blabbed the first 28 minutes. Yes. Okay. Once you put that back piece on, now you can see the envelope forming. Now you have your back piece. And then again, so you want to do that to all three of your other pieces. You're going to want to put a little bit of adhesive here and then fold it up. This way the bottom of it is flat. Because like I said, this flat bottom piece is what it stands up on. So if it's not flat and flush, then you're going to have a hard time. <laughs> Thank you, Evan. I know the crafting world, though, sometimes some of them don't. They just want you to get to the crafting. Um, I've come across a lot of pettiness, a lot of bullying. Um, I'm just a real person. I do things awkwardly. I do things out of order. Some people may like it and some may not. I'm just me. I'm always going to be me. All right. So again, all right. I think I'm going to take my clips off of my back piece now. You don't need them for a couple of seconds just to get it to stick. See? And there's the back. And you can put that one aside. And now you're just going to want to do the adhesive on your other pieces. I love this glue. I'm running out too. I have no money to buy more. It sucks. Because in order to get this glue at the price that I get it at, you have to spend $25 on Amazon to 
have it added on because it's just an add on item. All right, we'll do all three of your other ones. It'll just make the process a little bit better. Oh, thank you. Elena, I definitely appreciate that. I don't have many subscribers. The videos that I've done have been happy mail that was sent to me by wonderful women. Um, I use every single thing that's given to me, literally. Everything in projects. Um, I love crafting. I actually have two, four, six completed stand-up loaded envelopes full of embellishments on my desk, but I have nobody to send them to. People don't appreciate it. People never say thank you. So I've tried to sell them. I've sold four already, and I was commissioned to make another one, and I'm going to be making one for MN Treasure Hunter, who is a scratching king, as I call him. <laughs> That's your new nickname for me, MN, is a scratching king. Um, scratch tickets. My scratchies, my other vice. But yeah, I love crafting. I love talking. All right, so I got another piece. Oh, thank you. So I'm just going to fold these down a little bit more and add my adhesive. And you see all that you may have some pieces that have like, this is like, um, I think this is Mod Podge on it actually. And I had stamped on it, but this is going to be the inside. So nobody's going to see it. I was not going to throw this out. <laughs> well, to me, you're the scratching king. You have supported me. Um, and I've supported you, but you're, you're here. You're just listening, but you're here, and that means the world to me. So, to me, your new nickname is Scratch King. You'll hit something big. I'm pretty sure you will. So, yeah, my mother taught me as a little kid, waste not, want not. Waste nothing. Use everything. So I do. Okay. Now you do the other one. Have you done them all already, Elena? Am I saying your name right? Is it Elena? Elena? Um, in Portuguese, we say Elena. I just don't want to say your name right because everybody butchers my real name. My government name is Ondina. It's O N D I N A. Elena. Elena. I just don't like messing up people's names. So I get kind of pissed when people mess up my name. <laughs> but then again, my name is so hard to say looking at it. All right. And then I just use something to like, in case they're bent down to kind of fold them up. Got my other one. And now I'm on my last one. Do you have this already all done? You do, huh? I'm so sorry. All right, I'll go quicker. Hi, we'll go quicker. All right. Now you're going to take your back piece that you have that you put that back on that's now closed. Oh, okay, almost. Let me know when you're done. Like I said, I don't want to, I have a tendency to go fast with these because I'm so used to making them now that I just, I can whip out like 12 of these shells in maybe a half hour, not even. So it's official. I think I lost my boyfriend of fantasy football. I haven't heard a peep from him, a word from him. I haven't heard any movement. Uh, yep, Sundays, um, I guess Sundays will be my craft days because he will be in his room um, watching football. Uh, we have a four-bedroom apartment. Totally blessed that he's able to pay for it because, like I said, I'm not working. We have our bedroom, our son's bedroom, a uh, kitchen, a nice-sized bathroom. I have my craft room, and he has his game room, his man cave, which I need to add a few things to it. Every man needs a man cave, and every woman needs a woman cave. It's just the way it should be. I think in any good, healthy relationship, you need to have time apart. Not time apart. I don't know how to say it the right way. 
you need to have your own time, your own quiet place, your own peaceful place, your own place that you can go to and do whatever it is you want to do. I think it's very important. My craft room is my sanity. He watches wrestling, big wrestling fan, big sports fan. <laughs> so I like to watch wrestling to a certain extent. So I'll watch some wrestling with him and then I'll come in my room. He'll go in his room. And then the end of the night we come together, we wake up together, we do things together throughout the week and the weekend. Um, but yeah, time apart is definitely important to have your own space, your own mental space. Helps me so I don't go crazy. All right, I'm going to take my clips off because I think it's all done. i hearing. Ah. Check that. So now that they are all adhered. And just let me know when you have your ends done and we can stop building this bad boy. I've seen some that like mat before they add on their other layers. I don't see the need for it. I feel as though you're wasting paper because once you put your other piece on, you can only see so much in matting that whole piece. I feel as though you're wasting the paper because even when it's standing up, let me show you this one. Even though it's standing up, you really can't tell. I mean, obviously in the camera because the angle. But like this, you can't tell. Only if you're really looking on the inside can you tell. But I try to put the paper down long enough. This way you can. And I think this is absolutely adorable. And everybody should have one on their desk, kitchen counter, bathroom. You can even put makeup in it. I want to make some out of chipboard so they're heavy and sturdy. That will be the next goal. But I have tons of them. I can show you after. I'll probably do another video. This one's already like an hour and 13 minutes. Nobody's going to watch this thing. But it is what it is. I'm just going to keep going. But yeah, I can show you the other ones that I have. They're just good to have. Like I said, you can use them with embellishments. I'm going to start making them for like the holidays with candies and goodies, like themed wise for the holidays to give to um, my son's teachers. My son actually has an IEP. He's got obedience defiance disorder and severe ADHD. He does not like authority. He doesn't like raised voices. He will throw things around the house. He'll bang his head through the walls. So he's in a small classroom. I think it's eight kids and nine teachers. So he gets that one-on-one -on -one attention. And he's dyslexic. Poor child. He's learning, though. He's doing a little bit better with it. But his teachers are awesome. Teachers, period, are awesome. So every now and then, I like to send them to school with a gift. And they love it. I think one of his teachers, he has the same teacher he had last year. And I made her one of these filled with Post-its and pencils and teacher supplies. She loved it. She still has it on her desk. Just let me know when you have all your bottoms glued on. I like the fact that they actually stuck pretty quick. Yeah, this one kind of came off a little bit, but that's all right. Yes, that is so true, Evan. That is so true. I'm just, like I said, new to this YouTube world and these videos and... It is what it is. If I reach 100 subscribers, cool. If I don't, I mean, I'm doing this more so for me, just so I can record my memories and what I'm making and I can look back at it and be like, wow, that's where I started. This is where I am. That's kind of more or less what I'm doing it for. Although it would be nice to hit like that 10,000 mark to get one of those cute plaques. Have you seen anybody getting those plaques, the YouTube 10,000 subscriber plaques? Oh. What I would give to get one of those just to say, yeah, I got a plaque from YouTube. <laughs> but if I don't get there, that's cool. Some people will like my style and my videos, others won't, and I'm totally okay with that. You're always going to have those few people who don't care for you. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, that plaque is amazing. 
I seen uh, May May Crafts got one, and there was another crafting lady who got one. Oh, it was gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So hopefully one day I give myself two years, maybe three max to get there. That is my goal. I wonder how the battery on my phone is doing. Huh. I'm going to go grab my charger. So I'll be right back. Finish gluing your bottoms down and just let me know when you're all done. I'll be back in two seconds. Oh, crap. Do I even have my wire? Sheesh. Where is my wire? Oh, he's I'm back. Now, I gotta figure out how to do this. Gotta use an extension cord. But this house is weird. Aren't you supposed to have outlets like every three feet? We have two outlets in every room. And they're kind of close together, which makes no sense. All right, let me plug this in. Plug this bad boy in. And sorry if it's shaking. I'm just trying to. I feel like I'm down south. There is two gnats. I think that's what you call them. In my room. Wet. I have no food. I clean this house literally twice. Stupid gnats. Night night. Night night, got him. <laughs> all right, you got yours all glued together. Let me know if they're all glued, and then we can start building it. This is the fun part: is seeing it build up and come together. You got them all together. You got all your bottoms done? Probably should have just kept that lid. So yeah, the fun part is yet to happen. It's building it is what's the fun part for me. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Finally, I know it's a process. Uh, the first time I did mine, I think it took me like 45 minutes to get it. All right, so now you should have your back piece that's fully backed, and then your other three pieces. And you can see how they lay the smaller, the medium, and the large. And then we'll call this one the extra large. What you want to do now is you want to take the large piece, your larger piece out of the three you have to the side, this large one, and you're going to want to put adhesive on all three sides. I'm going to cry when this glue runs out. 
I think I just use too much. I don't know. I just want to make sure that they last because if I sell them, I don't want crappy reviews. I don't want people to enjoy what they get from me. And I want it to last. All right, adhesive. Some down here. And I tend to just to make sure it's all on all pieces. All right. So yeah, I have the adhesive on all three sides. Pick whichever side you want to be the front and the back. And you're going to take that piece that you just put the adhesive on and you are going to attach it. Make sure that it's flush to the bottom. You want it flush to the bottom like that and that the sides line up. And then you have your sides here. And again, this is where I use either paper clips or binder clips to hold it in place. This way it adheres. I find it easier, especially when you're using wet glue, to use a paper clip or a binder clip. Those are the binder clips. I'll do the next side. Some paper clips. And then I just press along the middle just to make sure it's sticking. And then you go to the other side and if you're using, if you're using paper clips, you just take your paper clip and clip it so it's on crap on both sides. Just like that. And then you just line up this edge too. I have another binder clip, I'm gonna use that. So you have your edges that are flush up against each other. You have your bottoms that are flush, and you have your other side that's flush. Um, you can use clips, you cannot use clips. It's all up to your preference on what you wanna do. So that was one piece. You're gonna do that as well for your other two pieces. Adhesive on all three sides, and then this next piece goes on top. And then the smaller piece goes on top of that. So I am gonna do that now and you do that as well. The other thing I don't know how to do with these videos, like if I record is how to speed it up. Cause I know a lot of people complain they don't wanna see the whole process um, like this. I mean, it's time consuming to some people it's boring. I'm like I said, I'm not doing it for everybody else, but I need to learn the editing skills. I don't have those. My boyfriend is the computer guy who knows how to do all that. I'm clueless. And again, I just rub it just to make sure that it's everywhere. On all three sides. I'm going to take my clips off. Because I need to use these clips again. And then you're going to adhere the next piece. And again, you just want to make sure that your bottoms are flush. And then do your sides. Side. Oh, that one was coming up. I don't want it to come up. I want it to be flush. So yeah, that's all I did is just make sure that it's flush. And if any glue comes spewing out, I just rub it into the sides because we're also gonna cover these dents right here with paper. And then you take your other one, your other side. You want to line that up, and I kind of didn't fold mine the right way. So I don't know if you can see that right there, but that little bit sticks out a little bit, but that's all right. And then maybe I'll stick. You just want to make sure that they're adhering to each other. Okay, I will definitely do that.
Yes, I will. I definitely will. Um, I wonder if I can still do it now, even though she's not in here, because I know she commented. Ah, got it. I did. All right, so I did that already. Hopefully she doesn't get upset that I didn't ask first. All right, so now I'm going to do my little itty bitty bees. Adhesive. And another thing that I don't do, Elena, is I'm not really a measurement kind of person um, because sometimes you cut a little off, so the measurement isn't always the same. So for the matting, you're going to see the way I do it. And the way that I do it is I haven't seen anybody do it this way. Normally, they have everything measured out, pre-cut. Nope. I'm a girl. Yeah, that is true. Because, yeah, my old nickname in a group that I was in on Facebook used to be Enforcer. Because I used to be the one to enforce the rules. And if anybody broke them, I would wreak havoc. I do tend to have a nasty attitude. Do not well, do not like hatred. Do not like bullying. I was bullied in high school. Um, I actually tried to commit suicide two times. If it wasn't for my best friend... I probably wouldn't be here today. I don't tolerate bullying. Any fashion form, crafting worlds, YouTube worlds, real life. Mm -mm. I will go after somebody for that. I don't stand for that. And again, I'm totally out of frame. I'm so sorry. But I am just gluing my pieces on top of each other. I'm just making sure that they're flush. And flush. So all your pieces glued on top of each other. It'll look like that. Mine looks a little like lumpy and stuff. That's because of the way that the clips are holding it down. But that's the general shell. I just gotta wait for that to adhere. And then I can take my clips off. And then we come with the fun part again. I just gotta check something. Uh, Elena, just let me know when you have all um, your pieces adhered on top of each other. And it looks like that. And then we can proceed to the next step. Um, Yeah, bullying is not acceptable anywhere. I mean, I got out of that funk. Um, the two girls that actually bullied me my entire life in high school, junior high and high school requested me on Facebook as a friend. Um, my boyfriend said I was wrong for this, but I kind of messaged them and asked them if they even understood the torment that they put me through in school and how it made me feel and things that I did because of them. And they apologized and apologized and apologized. Um, but I had to let them know that it still sticks to me because certain words and certain things that people say is like a trigger for me and is not cool. That's when the old me comes out. Um, I guess you could say the ghetto me, the hood me, the me that will whoop some ass. I try not to let that side of me come out ever. But, you know, it's been brought out a few times, unfortunately. Um, but it is what it is. I accepted them as friends. Um... And I just hope that they teach their kids not to do what they did. Because it does stick with somebody and lasts a lifetime. Right, maybe I should. I have stuff everywhere. Oh, I definitely found closure. I've grown up. I've realized, you know, we were kids back then. Kids are cruel. They're even crueler now. Um, and I've come to accept who I am and what I am and that I'm not going to change for anybody. I'm me. I'm, I got my quirks, but it is what it is. 
Thankfully, I found my boyfriend who loves me for me, accepts me, my craziness, my flaws, my outbursts, my super blonde moments where I forget the simple stuff. Uh, shit comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> sometimes he just shakes his head and just looks at me. And I already know what he's thinking. I'm crazy. But he loves me anyways. All right. Now, let me... A stupid liar. Black cardstock to the side because we don't need any more of that. All right, let me see if I can take these off yet or if this is going to give me an issue. All right. All right, so. Yeah, I did mine. You can see the sides. You see all like that glue and stuff? That actually ends up drying clear and you won't see any of that. Um, if you don't like it, sometimes what I use is my... Ah. I'll use like, um, I have this Studio G pigment ink in black. Just, just so you can't see them. But yeah, that's not part of the process. Don't worry about that. All right, now that you have them all glued, that other piece that we cut and put to the side, this is the two by five and a half piece. This is what covers this bottom. All this right here. You put this piece right here on the bottom and just adhere it to the bottom. This way, you don't see any of those lines and it just looks flush like that. So take that uh, two by five and a half piece and just put it there. The other thing I like about this glue is it has two tips. So depending on what you're doing, it depends on what tip you use. I've tried to use my glue gun to do this, but it makes a dang mess. And I burned myself with my glue gun. You see that right there? Oh, glued myself. That was with the hot glue gun. But all right, take your two by five and a half piece. I've already got my adhesive on it. And just slap that baby on there. Just like that. Make sure it's not overlapping anything. And then I just press it down. You can see that. I just press it down. And it pretty much adheres itself. You don't need these don't need clips anymore. So, all right. Let me know when you get that piece down, and we can let the fun begin. I'm not sure who else is here. It says that there's four people watching. Do the other two people want to say hello? Mm. Let me know you're here. All right. So now that you have that bottom glued on, this is the general shell. Now you can pick out your papers. I'm not sure if you have your papers ready. Let me know if you do. And then you just pick your papers the way you want them. One, two, three, and four. I think I'm going to do this one first. And then I might do... I might do that one second. to see. I tend to lay them out just to see how they'll look layered.
I'm trying to think. Maybe I'll do that one there. Was this one here? Then this one. And then that one. This is the hardest part for me is picking how I'm gonna lay the papers down. Guys, <laughs> yep, you all drop smashed into a car, backing up or turning or whatever it was, took off like half the front end. Sorry. I don't know if you heard that crunching, but that didn't sound too good. So I think I'm gonna use this one, this one. Excuse all the noise, you're gonna hear a lot of noise. These people are out there screaming. All right, so I think that's how I'm gonna do it. One, two, three, and four. Do you have your papers ready? Crazy. All right, you got your papers ready? So your first one, like I said, I don't do the measurements because sometimes you can cut yours a little bit bigger, could be lopsided, who knows? So what I do is I always have my pencil any pencil, doesn't matter. This is just the one I happen to pull. And I take my paper, whichever one I'm gonna use is the front, and I just kind of line it up and leave, leave about an eighth of an inch. I don't know, let me see if I can zoom in so you can see. Welcome to Unsocket. You want to see them? This is what I do what's in this neighborhood. Can you see him? <laughs> totally not. These people are crazy. All right, Elena, I'm so sorry. Are you still with me? Please say you're still with me. <laughs> but what I was trying to say before, if you're still with me, I'm so sorry, <laughs> is I just try to line this up here and leave about an eighth of an inch or whatever. If you want to see some of like the cardstock that you're using. And I just mark it where I want to cut it. So that's where I'm gonna cut it. And then you just cut your paper. I don't know the exact measurements. I suck at measurements. So that's what I do. And then you get your piece. Um, let me see what size it is. It is three and a quarter by five and three eighths. So three and a quarter by five and three eighths is what it cut to.
and then you can ink the edges I think I may because I don't know if you can see that it still has a little bit of white over here from cutting it um, and I think I'm just gonna ink it Crazy, crazy, crazy people. Elena, are you still with me, darling? Please tell me you're still with me. So, you know, I just found some of my ink. I have some of these Stampin' Up. This one is Lovely Lilac. I'm going to try this one and see if how the color blends. Let's see if it even works. Yeah, it works. I don't know if you can see that little, the little hint. Yeah, I'm still alive. I was just hanging out the window. You don't really get to see much action around here. So when you do, I stick my head out the window. They're still fighting. The guy who was a humongous U-Haul truck, I'm not sure exactly what he was doing. If he was turning around, turning in, and he like grinded on a car um, and was trying to like adjust himself so he didn't do any more damage, and he kept pulling the car. He pulled the car out quite a bit. He got out to see. Yeah. Oh, you meant uh, live stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm still alive. Still going. Still kicking. I haven't heard from Missy Lena, so I'm not sure if she's still with me. This is just going to be one of those long, funky live streams. Whatever. Oh, my papers are sliding everywhere. I made a mess. Elena, I don't want to continue if you're not with me. But yeah, this is going to be my front piece. So it's going to go down like that. Put some of my pieces. And of course, somebody call the police. Just let them go at it. Bunch of idiots. Just let them go. How about it? And then you just lay that piece that you cut to fit. Align it where you want to align it. Just put it down. So you got your front piece. And Elena, I'm going to wait to hear you say something before I continue because I don't know if you're still here. Let me mess her. I sent her a message to see if she's still on. We'll see.
All right, yay, she's still there with me. Thank you. All right, so I cut my first piece. And there it is. Now, if you want to make it easier for you, you can take that one piece before you adhere it and measure out the other three. That's what I normally do, but this time, my mind is scrambled right now. I just adhered it. All right. And then the extra piece that I have here, I tend to use all of this in my embellishments, whether it's on the embellishments or the packaging or whatever it may be. So I'll just put that piece to the side. And then you take your second piece. And again, I'm not good with measurements, so I wing it. I kind of put it here just so I know how wide I want it. Or you can just measure off this last piece, which is what I'm going to do. Because I kind of want them all semi the right size, I guess you could say. And I just do little, I don't know if you can see my little marks. But there's like a little tiny mark there and a little tiny mark over there. And that's what I cut. And then you just cut. And then this is the piece that's going to go here. And like I said, these are all the same size. I just make sure. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to take this one piece and measure out my other two pieces. And cut them out. It's the question of, I want this side. And then you just line them up. <laughs> and get you the one. So oh, I guess it did cut off. Um, and she was ah. It's not my window. Goodness gracious. Two fire trucks. He didn't hit anybody. He hit a car. For her to come back on because it did cut off and I guess two things didn't notify her that I was still on. So I'm just gonna see if she's coming back on. If not, I may stop this one and do another one. See, and this one's already almost at two hours. So let's see if she pops up. If she doesn't, um, I'm just gonna start another one. You think I'm better off starting another stream seeing this one's almost at two hours? Okay, yay! All right, I'm not sure what you missed. I did my first piece, and like a dum dum, I already mounted it on. So let me know if you caught that. If you didn't, I will um, show you what I did.
somewhere. Ah! No, I didn't have to go. No worries. Let me... Okay, so what I did is basically I put my paper, whatever paper I'm going to use for this first one, and I basically just flip it over and I take my pencil and I put it down on the very first, on this very first one, and I just measure where I want it. I try to leave just like an eighth of an inch, maybe sometimes a quarter of an inch, whatever I think looks right, and I just mark my edges. If you see on this one, I have a mark here and here. So this is where I'm going to cut. You can take that first one that you cut and then just draw the lines again on your other papers and you could just cut them all out so you have all four of them cut out, which is what I do. Um, so I have my one that's already cut, my one that's matted, and then the other I'm going to be cutting. Um, so I am going to cut those. the other papers the rest of that paper to the side because I use those for the embellishments or the packaging or whatever it may be like I said waste not want not paper got it to the side for now and then I have my papers and I ink the edge of this one because it left if you see here it still leaves like a little bit of the white from when you trim it. So, where did it go? I'm using the Stamping Up Lovely Lilac. I think this is like an old, an old Stampin' Up ink pad. I don't know. I got a few of them that are yard sale. And I am just going to ink up. And I just ink my edges a little bit, just so you don't see that white. And it gives it like a cool little look on the sides. You can see it on some of the papers. Some you can't because some of the papers are really dark. I like this one. But the fact that I know that I'm doing it. So go ahead and cut all four of your papers. Um, you can ink if you'd like. Um, you can leave them plain. All depends on what style you're using. Um, some of them I've inked. Some of them I haven't. Um, but I like the way the color looks. It just gives it another little, little kind of dimension, I guess. And then just ink it in whatever kind of color you want. I see a lot of these YouTube videos and these girls go crazy and they start hauling the same exact thing and making the same exact thing. I don't see any sense of that. Because why do you want to make the same exact thing as somebody else like as far as the same papers, same embellishments? I kind of like to be the oddball and do my own thing. And I like the way it looks. Don't worry, I'm in scratcher. I'm not going to make yours look girly. I'm not, I won't ink with pink or, or purples <laughs> if I ink at all. I got to find some papers um, that I can use. If I don't have any, I'll probably buy some digital prints. Now, my question is, is I need to get a hold of somebody. I don't know if I can. You know, where it all you make sure to get it on you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I will make it girly. I have some some treasure papers I know from something that I had done for my nephew. Um, so I'll probably use those. It's a lot of like treasure maps and stuff. All right, Elena, then you just try to figure out where you want your papers. I'm going to do that one and then this one. I'm going to do 
this one. I think I'm going to do this one here. I kind of like to lay them out just to see what they're going to look like. So that's what mine will end up looking like once it's done, the front anyways. Let me know um, if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. Um, I'm going to stick these down now and just let me know when you're done cutting, um, inking if you're going to ink, and when you're done sticking them down. Now, I'm going to try something. If I do cut off, I will be right back on. I have to text somebody while I'm doing this. So we shall see. No. You still there? I am going to stick my papers down. And I don't put too much adhesive when I'm doing this. I just kind of put it over the top. And I just lightly put the glue on it. And then I stick it in, push it down. And then you can leave whatever amount, I don't know if you can see that, whatever amount you want at the top shown of the cardstock that you're using. And then just put it down. And then I use my bone folder once I got it where I want it. And I just rub it. I wish it would show me who's watching because it tells me that there's four people watching. I know two of the four. But that's okay. Just over here crafting, making a stand up loaded envelope. Adhesive on the other piece, and then I lay it down. And then you leave your top. <laughs> All right. So so far, I have three pieces on. You call them peekaboos? Yeah, that's what they are. Peekaboos. Participant list option. I don't know. Let me see. I don't want to mute anything. I don't want to do that either. I don't know. Whatever. Let them watch. As long as you're here, it's what matters. If they don't want to be here, oh well. I'm just doing a little crafting with my friend. I'm going to lay this last piece down. And then voila, I have my front covered. Once I have that front covered, now we can move on. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I don't mind people just being peekaboos and watching. Yeah. I wish more people would watch. They don't have to say anything. They don't have to participate. Just watch me. All right, so I got all mine laid down. Let me know when you have that done and we can do the next. I am going to be a nosy bird and look out my window again.
Ooh, somebody must have got jacked up and hurt. Somebody left in the ambulance. I know, I can't wait for that time to gain more people and not be able to keep up with the chat. Like, Georgia Gambler's chat, oh my gosh. I can't keep up with that, and I'm the one that's chatting. There's, like, so many people. But till then, I will keep crafting along. Yeah, I don't think anybody can. That's why he has so many moderators because oh, there's so much to keep up with. But that's good. That's wonderful. And I'm so upset that his channel got shut down. Like, who does that? So upset. I went to go click on his link yesterday, and it was gone. It was terminated. So I think I'm gonna write a letter. He had asked people to write letters to send into YouTube. And I think I'm going to do that because his channel didn't deserve to be shut down. I looked forward to those live streams on Friday nights. Some people are just pesty. Pesty, pesty, pesty. Elena, just let me know when you have all yours laid down and we can move on. I am going to go use the restroom. I will be right back. No. All right, sorry about that. I am back. So 
So I changed my shirt because I realized that the girlies were kind of hanging out. <laughs> All right. Thank you, MN Treasure Hunter. I definitely will email you. Let me write that down, too. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if you're leaving, but thank you so much for being on this live stream this entire time and listening to me. Alright, got it. So Miss Elena, how are you doing? How's it coming along? I changed my shirt. I put on my hubby's podcast shirt. I don't know if you can see it. He has a wrestling podcast, UWO. It is on Anchor. And we he is on Twitter. It's all about wrestling. Uh, Love you too. Hey, nice shirt. Thank you. Nice shirt. <laughs> Let me know how it's coming along, Elena. Really great. Sure. You know, once you have yours on and the way you want it, I know sometimes it kind of, it's the more rough part of figuring out how you want to do it. Who is calling me? No, don't call me. I'm doing a live stream. No. Okay, I'm still here. Sorry. All right, so you have your four down. Um, just close the door so I don't hear this. Um, this kid, John Duran, I used to be friends with years and years ago. He lives out here. Yeah, I know. Um, but he just messaged me. Okay. All right. So you there. So what did you say? I'm in Treasure Hunter. No problem. So I'm just doing live. Yes, please go ahead and join him. Shout out my channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. If and when I finish this one, I will see who's on live and who's posted videos, and I will go on there and support everybody for sure. Much. Okay. So now what we're going to do. Um, uh, is these right here. You see these little crevices right here? These right here on the inside. We're going to do those like I did like I do on here. This way you can see these. So what you want to do now is figure out what papers you want here. Instead of picking new papers, what I tend to do is the one that's in the far back is the one I'll use for the short one. And then the second one will be the second one. And then this third one will be the third one. And then this first one will be the very long one. It's all on how you want it, where you want it, um, how I do that, we will start with the back one was this one. What you do is, again, I just put my paper in the crack right here. You see that one right there? And I just fit my paper here, and then I just cut it. Well, I mark it as far as how you want it. I usually try to leave a little bit of space right there you see my line and then on my cutting board I don't know what size this is let me cut it and then I can measure it Let's see. I measure using my scoreboard so three-eighths of an inch is the width thank you babe oh. Found that the width here, here is three eighths of an inch. So three eighths of an inch wide. Which for me on my scoreboard is from the cut line over this way is one, two, three, the fourth line from. I don't know if you can see it. But here's my cutting board, and it's the one, two, three, four, the fourth line on this side. 
and then you cut four of them, three eighths of an inch. Two, three, four. You know my brains that was in there? It's right here. Don't you not use it? Oh, that's the one I have. Oh, No, it's all right. I don't know if I took it. Probably did. Took my boyfriend's brick to his charger. And I don't know where I put it. Hi, I'm glad you could make it, Silly Crafts. This is an extremely long live stream, but we are making a stand-up loaded envelope. We've already cut the shell. We've cut our mats for the front. And now we're going to be cutting for these inside slots here. So when it's standing up, there's some pretty paper in here. So the width is 3 eighths of an inch. And then once you have your strip at 3 eighths of an inch, you can just put it up against here and figure out where you want it. I don't know if you can see my cut line. I'm going to cut them all right one and mark it, and then a three behind it. Make sure they're lined up. And then I just cut them all at the same time. It's just easier. Bink! And let's see how long these are. I don't like measuring on this one. They are three eighths of an inch by three and a quarter. So three eighths of an inch wide, my three and a quarter inches long. And you need four of them. Okay. And just let me know once you have those cut and then we can adhere them. Cause then it'll go on the side like that. I don't know if you can see that. And then your other one will go up on the other side. I don't wanna, let me see how I can show you. So it looks like that. And then you have a little bit showing on the outside and a little bit of the, the colored cardstock that you're using at the top. So that was three eighths of an inch wide by three and a quarter inches long. I don't like to measure things. I never do the same thing twice as far as measurements. So it's up to you on how you do it. You can cut like a small piece and put it up against here and figure out how wide you want it, how tall you want it. But my strips ended up being three eighths of an inch wide and three and a quarter inches long. Let me know when you got four of those cut. Once you have those four cut, and like I said, waste not, want not. These right here, these pieces that were cut off, I will actually save. You can make flags out of these pieces. You can make, I'll show you how to make other embellishments out of these scraps. Uh, all right, let me know when you cut the four down. And we can glue them on together. And I save these little scraps. I use what I mean. I use everything. I use everything. Oh, 
Thank you, Mr. Monstar. You like my shirt? Your face is right here. Ladies, Mr. Monstar 401 LS is my boyfriend. Get off my live stream. You don't need to be on it. Oh, Elena, yes, I'm terrible at measurements, too. That's why, like I said, I honestly, I take my big piece of paper and I put it on. I don't know the right way to, like, show you on the camera. And I put it here and I figure out where I want to cut it. So just do that and you can do it that way. And then once you figure out the width, the width will be the same for all four of these indents. All right, ladies, get those cut, and I'll be back in two seconds. All right. <laughs> All right. Do you have your four pieces cut yet? Let me know. All right. So what you're going to do now with your four pieces, um, you can ink them if you want. Sometimes I do. I may just put a little, just go just along them. So my paper cutter, I, I don't know. I think it's because I cut my cardstock with it to my heavy cardstock and my paper. Sometimes it leaves, I don't know if you can see that. It's almost like a little lip of extra white right there. So I'm just going to, I just go quick just to kind of cover it up. And then you're going to stick your adhesive inside. You can put it on your strip or you can put it on here. Um, like this. Let me get some on here and then I can. I got my adhesive on there. And then you're just going to take your piece and stick it down. I put mine all the way to the bottom. And just glue it down. And then you can do the other piece. Um, you don't have to do it the way I do it as far as I switch the papers. You can do it any way you want. You can have them both the same. You can have them each different. It's all up to your personal preference. I've just been doing it this way. And I just rub it down just to make sure it sticks down. And then you have it like that. And so when it's standing up on its side, it's got the pretty paper right there. And you do that on here, and then you're going to do it on a small one on that side. Let me know when you have those two done. And I'm just going to quickly add a little bit here. That's because I don't like the way this paper, and I've switched out my blade. Ugh. I can't even tell you how many freaking times. Found them on Walmart, at Walmart, the um, these blades right here. For like four, I think it was like four dollars for two of them. All right. And then you're just gonna 
Dear Jesus. And you're gonna lay them down. All the way to the bottom. I'm kind of gently rub it. Now what I do is I put mine all the way to the bottom and into the center. So it's flush into the center and the bottom, and then I just have that little piece at the top showing. Ah, Miss Silly Silly Crafts, are you still here watching? So I got both sides. I got that one, and I got that one. All right, so what I have to do now, I have to go run a quick errand. Um, Elena, um, if you want to do those two, um, if you want to go ahead and do your other three, that's fine. I'm going to go run my errand with my boyfriend and be back, and I will go live again. So if you want, we can finish it. You can let me know if you want me to go live again so we can finish it together, or if you just want to finish it on your own, uh, just let me know. Before I head out, um, I'll be out for maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, so just let me know um, if you want me to come back live or not. Do you want me to come back live? I can, when I get back, go right back online so we can finish it together. Not a thing. I'll be home by myself. Well, not by myself, but I will be home in my room. I can definitely go back live. That's not a problem. And we can finish it together. Okay, not a problem. I hope you can finish it. If you have any questions, let me know uh, when you're done. If you want me to go back live and do the embellishments that I do, just let me know. Uh, but thank you so much. It's been like two and a half hours. <laughs> um, silly crafts. I will be back on live when I get back. I think I'm going to come back on live anyways. And just... So I shall be back in about 25 minutes. Thank you.